Doctor, can you talk about uh, just your rehab from, from the ACL this offseason and, and what that process was like and, and how you're feeling now? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously it was a very long road. Uh, first ACL and it's, uh, it's a huge injury, so I didn't really know what to expect at first. But uh, slowly, uh, day by day, I had down, grinded. Um, you know, I've been here all off season uh, doing rehab and recoveries, and uh, Britt Brown's done a great job with me trying to get me back on the field. And I, I honestly feel really great right now, and I feel um, better than where I left off last year. So I'm very excited for the season. What was the most difficult thing for you to overcome working through this? Um, I would say just first major surgery, um, having to stay on top of that with ice and uh, getting all the inflammation out, and then. Um, starting from, I mean, square one, um, no, no quad, no, uh, no leg strength. And so just building your leg strength back up to, uh, to, I mean, playing strength. How mature are you now as a player from what you would say your rookie year? Um, looking back at it, at hindsight, uh, as a rookie, I, I probably knew nothing. I, I've learned so much. I've, uh, developed so much as a player, um, on the field and off the field and, uh, you know, the uh, year three, um, I feel like I'm, uh, I've, I've learned a lot and I am uh, feel like I'm finally hitting my stride. That's a different offensive line coach is even going back to UT. How have you been able to, to manage all that? Uh, will you repeat the question? I've had quite a few different offensive line coaches even going back to Texas. How have you been able to, to manage that? Um, I mean, obviously with the new O-line coach, it's, uh, it's a new regime, so you just have to – you have to throw out everything you knew and have to be open-minded uh, and go to work, learn everything you can. And, um, and I mean, at the end of the day, it's a new system. So you got to learn the new system and you got to put everything you have into it. How different is what Joel Philbin is teaching compared to what you guys have done under Colombo uh, the last couple of years? Um, obviously, uh, we loved Colombo, Colombo and we're going to miss him. Um, and as far as Philbin, I mean, he's been a, he's been a great coach coming in. I'm really excited to be working with him. He uh, he obviously knows so much football with all the positions he's been in, and he's uh, and so he he has a good uh, viewpoint of it. So he uh, he's a great teacher. He teaches a lot. He sees what's happening, and so he uh, he communicates that well to us. And so he's he's teaching us a lot as a whole line group. Connor, what's the challenge of working so many practices without? and La'El as y'all try and develop your chemistry without any pre-game or pre-season games? Uh, obviously, it's, it, it's tougher, and, and there's a little bit you have to have to work with them, but I uh, got a few reps with Tyron before uh, before he got out. But, um, I mean, at the end of the day, it, it just fits. It, it fits in, and, and we, we know our playing style. We know how we go together, and so obviously we'll be able to get a few practices in before the game, and so it's, it's not too big of an issue. Um, I mean, I think that speaks for itself. He's, uh, he's the best left tackle in the league. Uh, I mean, he's such an outstanding player on and off the field. You, uh, you learn how to be a pro from him by everything he does from, I mean, stretching in the weight room before and after practice to ice tubbing to being in the, being in the office just all day icing and taking care of his body. And, and you learn how to do that. And so, uh, I mean, he's just been such a great mentor, just being able to watch him and see how he goes about his professional life. You feel you, feel you receive unfair scrutiny of your play? Um, honestly, I don't know what y'all are saying about my play. I don't, don't hear any of that. Uh, just trying to be the best I can day by day. Um, I mean, I mean, it's clear when you're around the, when you're around the guy every day for uh, the whole day, why, why he is who he is. Um, I mean, just from the minute he walks in the building, I, I have to race him in the building just cause he gets in so early and, and one of the last ones to leave. And from the minute he steps in, he's just a professional from on the field and off the field. I mean, the NFL, yeah, you, you have to have it on the field, but most of it is behind the scenes, taking care of your body and, 
And when you become a vet, I mean, th that even becomes more relevant. And so just taking care of your body and knowing what to do uh, once you get on the field and preparing to get on the field. And so, I mean, just as him, just as Tyron, um, as I can say about Zach, I mean, he's just an amazing professional off the field and you see why he's in the position he's in. Sure. What's the thing that you've seen Zach do on the field? On the field? Yeah. Zach, uh, Zach's a fighter. You can tell he's, uh, you can tell he's from uh, Illinois. I mean, he's a, he's a hard-nosed guy. He'll never quit. He, uh, he fights to the very uh, last draw. He'll never uh, be beat. And so, I mean, I think that's what everybody sees in him and why he's been our captain. I mean, uh, he's a guy we can, in the, in the last minutes of the game, throw all our weight on, and he'll, he'll pick up the team. Uh, I mean, right now we're staying at the team hotel, so uh, we're, we're pretty much already in the building. So wake up, walk over. Did you have any what time? Um, about 6 a.m., maybe a little earlier. <laughs> Did you ever think you would play with possibly two Hall of Fame offensive linemen when you first got drafted? Uh, no, I did not. Um, you know, uh, when I got drafted, I knew what the type of room I was walking into. And at first you kind of, I mean, it's a, it's a very humbling experience because, I mean, I always tell the story of uh, when I first saw Tyron, I was uh, at Capo High School and I was still probably, I was think I was a junior or a senior and it was when the bubble in uh, Valley Ranch just burnt down and, uh, and they came over to practice in our indoor and I remember seeing Tyron get off the bus. And so I always uh, laugh about that, that I was in high school when he was in the league, but um, yeah, it's definitely a, a humbling room to walk into and you have to drop everything you know and learn from the best. And, uh, and if, you, if you do so, you, um, you learn a lot and they have a lot to give and a lot to offer. And so you just have to, you just have to be very humbled and listen. How different would you say this offense is with the new regime? Uh, I, I very much so like where we're headed. Uh, I think we're uh, very fast paced, we're aggressive, we're off the ball, we're, uh, we're moving guys, and I, I love the new style that we're headed in. It seems like practices are getting a bit more physical because he's got to get further acclimated into the season almost being here. As an offensive lineman, how are you enjoying the work practices are headed here in camp? Yeah, I definitely, um, I, I love the progress we're making. Um, I, I think we're looking great as an offensive line unit. I think we're all coming together. I think we're making each other better. I think we're pushing each other, and uh, I'm uh, very excited where we're headed. Is it strange not to look over to your right and it, when, you're, when you're on the line and not see Travis? Um, I mean, most definitely. It's definitely going to be a big hit uh, losing Trav, but Joe's done such a tremendous job jumping in, and uh, you know, he, he takes it so seriously, and, and he's um, doing such a great job at center, and i got to give him all the praise. Is, it, is there any play you could point to in a game or a moment where you're like, okay, what Travis did there with the pre-snap communication really changed that play, or how would you characterize what he was able to do? Um, I mean, obviously, uh, Trav was such a pro at the game and such a vet that he, he saw everything that was coming, and... Uh, and he was able to able to call out things, but um, and, and obviously we were going to miss him so much. But like I said, I mean, uh, Joe's done such a great job jumping in. You, you said Joe is taking it very seriously, and I think that's an important word because his personality, I and mean, he's about as loose and comedic of a guy, I would think, in your guys' room and maybe on your 80-man roster. How do you see in terms of how he's got that natural personality to him but he knows when to dial in. Yeah, I think uh, I think Joe's very misunderstood, and obviously he wanted to uh, say it say it to you in the face. But uh, obviously he's got a great personality. He's funny. He's nice. He's a godly man. But at the end of the day, he uh, he knows his job and he knows what he has to do, and uh, he takes it very seriously.